Hello all. Today we are going to create a Photoshop text layer style. It's going to be a 3D like effect. So I'm going to reveal what we are going to do today is this. See, this is a, a powerful text with the layer blending styles um, and also 3D looking powerful text style. This is the one we are going to create. If we are going into the video, I am just going, uh, I'm, I want to tell you guys that this video contains two parts. This is the first part. Okay, uh, this 3D texture, uh, sorry, 3D text we are going to create in Photoshop also. I will tell you how to do this shadow and uh, uh, this glow effect, everything. It will be covered. Okay, first let's get start. Okay, keep this side a uh, file new uh, keep the resolution like a uh, wide screen like this one uh, I created that so it will look like cinematic effect so that's why we are going to choose a wide screen 1200 Okay, we have wide angle. That's also not enough, I think. So, right, this is looking even. Uh, not wide screen. So, we'll make this as uh, 2400. So, it will give you a wide screen. Okay. So that's it. This is our background. Uh, this is our layout. Okay, we are going to create a background before fitting into the main part. So just fill this one with something, some color. Okay. Then just double click over the layer to get into the layer style options. Uh, go to the gradient overlay. Uh, click on here. In the gradient overlay part, just select this, this color, just uh, this one. So this, why we are choosing this means it will uh, give a separate color tones. So like that, you know? if you notice this means uh, you can get the get my point. Okay. So I'm just going to make round, simple white like color, and then now uh, top. So first we just reverse this one, reverse it, okay, what color was there, just for color, okay, bottom is simple, uh, white too, some light blue color is there, yes, I'm going to create gradient overlay mm. so I'm going to tell you how here a trick so you just click on this indicator after clicking on that indicator just click somewhere you will get the same color so I will show you again 
see i'm clicking this color and i'm going to click that uh, clicking here see we are getting the same color this is some kind of trick you can it will be very helpful okay so here we need a white color on that side we don't need this blue okay okay fine also we don't need this white this is going to be this and this color is going to be white we don't need this much sharp so move that white a little bit and then uh, some uh, dark not dark um, maybe light blue with the less saturation this is fine we don't need that white all right also here we need more white color right so for that we can do uh, create another white color here and uh, move this like this it can make this even more brighter I think we don't need this one right yeah it's looking like floor okay that's fine I find I think okay our background is ready and we are going to create a text uh, while creating a text just pick a bold text like this one bold that powerful text I showed no uh, bold text like this one okay so that it will be very impact it will give very much impact on the styles so here i'm going to use transformers font um type here powerful okay I'll keep bring this one uh, down here we can make the background a little down so that it will give the floor like effect okay okay for that get into that layer again options blending option creating overlay and then um, inside the layer style um, click here click and drag here you will get you can move the uh, the distance I mean uh, you can move it wherever you want okay this is fine okay now we are going to create this text style okay the first thing we're going to do uh, gradient overlay mixer gradient overlay here so this is looking like metal you see I'll just see that it's looking like a metal like color right sorry metal like color right so for that also we are having a default color and we are going to change that color here and there 
the gradient only inside that choose this color this brown see it is already looking somewhat metal right bronze metal but we need here a blue so we are going to make everything blue I don't change that uh, this one the circle so it will not give that color impact so just change this one way okay and then uh, here click this one um, blue okay and then here I'm going to create blue okay so make to make this more very impactful we are going to give here a depth in the down bottom side so add another color here and uh, make this one as uh, blue gray i mean dark blue so it will give the bottom depth okay and then uh, also on the top of the layer make a white shading so add another indicator and uh, choose that replace that with white color so just adjust this one uh, sliding back okay this is very dark right okay and then this one we, um, I feel we make this uh, somewhat dry tone okay this is the gradient we have created for now it's fine uh, then add bubble and the embos if i am right actually the solution the solution in. can you see it okay bubble and embos this time we are going to make a hard bevel so choose this technique as chisel hard and give it a depth after that the size a little down to that just we need that corner part somewhat right okay so up to this part it is everything is fine so after that, see we are creating here yeah, metal embossed strokes. I mean edges are it's like embossed no. So to do that uh, come here and uh, in the bevel and emboss itself we have this option contour so go to that so now you didn't see any change right so make this graph change this graph to this one so what we get here is i'm zooming in control plus see we are getting so many lines we don't need that much lines here so we can edit the graph just double click on that okay 
see here there is uh, one two three four it's like uh, four mountains just we need only two mountains okay to make it remember correctly and mentioning here with mountains okay so just select a point and uh, delete click hit delete it will be deleted also here select that point and delete it so make it a little like this you are creating here two ups and downs okay just like two mountains corner you can play with this like whatever you want it will give you awesome styles this will create infinite styles okay for now this is okay hmm? and then um, since uh, we are going to make a powerful 3d text so this red tone we have here no so we are going to give that red tone here also another thing i forgot to do see maybe you have noticed i don't see this uh we selected here on the top portion white color no so so since uh we have to change the angle in the bevel part also so go to the bevel and emboss and make it as 90 something degree so not exactly 90 so it will give you only top side angle we need a top angle okay so increase this 200 and this 400 so now you can see the depth no okay um go to inner glow and uh, here select this one i'm going to choose a red color to make that metal somewhat uh, rusty maybe i think so whatever a red color Okay, we didn't see anything like since the size is very much low. Okay, increase the size. We just we need just a little red tone here. Okay. Choke we need that much. Okay, this is looking good. Okay guys, for this part, we are done. So in the next one, we I'm going to cover the shadow and then the glow part and then the depth, how to create this depth, everything. It's looking similar, not that much, I think so. But it's also looking... Um, unique right so so looking unique okay background is changing in there yeah. okay we will cover that on the next board see you